Today, we're in the Hubitat studio, and we're replacing my dumb three-way switch with an Inavelli Red Series dimmer. And we're gonna use motion lighting to make the lights turn on and off like magic. Let's get started. Hey, this is Pete the Hubitat Hub Whisperer here. Let's take a quick look at the Inavelli Red Series Smart Dimmer Switch. It's Hubitat compatible, obviously. It comes in a very solid box. I like the action on the paddle buttons, and it has a cool LED indicator on the side that you can customize as part of your automations. It is a Z-Wave Plus dimmer, and it can be used with or without a neutral wire. So my office light here is wired to a three-way switch, which means there are two switches that control the light. The nice thing about this Inavelli switch is that you only need to replace one of your two switches. Now there are several different three-way wiring configurations, and Inavelli has detailed wiring diagrams for all of them. I'd show you how to do the wiring myself, but our lawyer said that was a bad idea. But I can tell you this. Wiring a switch is not that difficult or dangerous if you follow the instructions. Turn off the power, use a voltage tester, and don't blame me if something goes wrong. Once you have the switch wired properly, go into your hub and add the Inavelli switch. Now before we do anything else, go into the device details and check out a few of the settings. First, scroll down to the device information and make sure that Inavelli Z-Wave Red Scene Dimmer is selected here under Type. This is the device driver. If another driver is here, use the drop down menu to select it. Inavelli also has their own driver you can use with the switch, and you can find that on their website, but for this video we are using the Hubitat built-in driver. We're also going to add this to a room so it shows up in the Devices tab of the mobile app, and then we'll hit save. An important note here, if you do change drivers on a device, you need to go here and hit configure for the change to take effect. Now we need to look at the preferences. Because we are using this in a three-way application, it is very important that the switch type here is set to multi-switch, dumb switch. This is a pretty advanced switch, so there are several preferences you can play around with. One fun option is setting the LED indicator color, and we'll show you in a future video how you can use the LED indicator as a notifier. So here's our plan. We're going to add a couple motion sensors to the mix, one up here in the corner of the room facing the doors, and the other on my desk to capture motion when I'm sitting here doing whatever it is I do. The motion sensor up in the wall is a Philips Hue sensor, which not only has this cool magnetic mount I can just stick to the grate, it also has an illuminant sensor, which we'll use in our rule. Here's what my rule is going to accomplish. When there is motion in the room, the light is going to turn on. It will turn on brighter or dimmer based on what time of day it is, which will be determined by modes. But the light will only turn on if the room isn't bright enough already, which will be determined by the illuminant sensor. When the motion sensor stops sensing motion for 4 minutes, the lights will turn off. And finally, I'm going to create a virtual switch that can disable this rule, so the lights aren't doing funky things when I'm trying to record all this nonsense. To build this rule, I'm going to use the motion lighting app. But before we can jump into that, we need to create our virtual switch. With this switch, I can add it to a dashboard, so I can disable my motion lighting rule with the Hubitat mobile app, or I can connect it to my Amazon Alexa or Google Home, and then disable the rule with my voice. To create a virtual device, we're going to go to Devices. We're going to add a device. We're going to select Virtual Device. We're going to name this our Office motion rule switch and we're going to select as a type you need to do this this is the virtual switch select that there and we're going to assign this to our office so that's all done and we can just save the device and now we'll be able to use that in our rule let's go into our motion lighting app and build our rule this is a built-in app if you haven't added it go up here to do it i already have it added to my system so we're going to go to motion and mode lighting apps we're gonna create a new motion lighting app. We'll call this our office light motion. And now we have a bunch of options here. So we are gonna actually use settings per mode. This allows our lights to turn on at different levels based on what the mode of our hub is on. Um, so let's select our motion sensors. These are our office motion on the desk, the office motion on the wall. And the light we wanna turn on is gonna be set dimmers per mode. And we're going to use our office switch. Here we're going to select the modes we want to turn it on during. We want to do it for all of the modes. And when I do that, it's going to pop up different options for the different modes. But in a way, hopefully it doesn't ever turn on, because why would there be motion? But we'll turn it up to 100 to scare the bad guys away. If they show up during the day, we want that to go up to 90. In the evening, we want it a little bit dimmer. We're going to do that at 65. And at sleepy time, when we're sleeping, if I have to come in here in the middle of the night, we're going to set that to the lowest level, which is 55 for these bulbs. Now, these levels are what work for me. Uh, based on what bulbs you have and based on the room you have, you can set these levels at whatever you want. It's just kind of a trial and error thing. 
but these are the levels that work for me. So when I've got these all set, I'm gonna select done here. So now the lights are set to turn on when I walk into the room. Now we have a few options we wanna, we wanna deal with here. I wanna create a switch that will disable these lights turning on if I don't want the rule to be active right now. So I created that switch earlier. So that was our office motion rule switch. And I actually want this to be disable the rule when it is off. So it's essentially a switch that when the switch is on, the rule is on, switch is off, the rule is off. So disable this when the switch is turned off. Now I also set up an illuminance sensor so the light won't turn on if there's light in the room. We're gonna set that here. So turn on the illuminance sensor we have is our wall sensor like we installed earlier. And I've tested this out. I want the lights to only turn on if the lux on the illuminance sensor is 60 or below. So I'm gonna set that at 60 and we'll be done. I do want the levels to change when the mode changes and I do want to enable an override here if I wanna change it manually with a dimmer. But only for the level, if I leave the room, I still want the lack of motion to turn the lights off. So that's it for our options for turning the lights on. I'm gonna hit done there. Now I wanna set my options for turning the light off. I want this to go four minutes without motion before the lights turn off. So once there's motion, once there's no motion has been detected for four straight minutes, the lights will turn off. Finally, I wanna use that same virtual switch that we had earlier to disable the rule from turning the lights off if I want them on. So, so that just makes it essentially a switch that disables or enables the entire rule. And so we'll set that, select that down here. That's our office motion rule switch. We'll be done with that. And finally, we're gonna set this to uh, control with Alexa or Google Home using this name, Office Lights. And with that, our rule is set with all the options we wanted earlier. Again, you can test these things out. You can always just come back in, change those levels until you find something that works for you. So that's our little intro to motion lighting rules for you. And I gotta tell you, this Innovelli switch, it's a neat little switch. It has some fun features we can talk about in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like hit that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.